The first inductee in the athletes category is Trevor Laws of Apple Valley. The six foot three, 270 pound Laws was a popular figure strolling the hallways as a gentle giant, complete with an ever present smile, infectious personality and words of kindness to others. A two sport standout, he returned to his roots to wrestle another Apple Valley icon, Gable Stevenson. I came back one time, probably, I want to say six years ago, to wrestle with Gable Stevenson, and that was a huge mistake because <laughs> uh, he was in great shape and I was not. And uh, one of my favorite coaches, uh, Bill Demeray, he was there that day, came to watch us wrestle, and he said to me, Trevor, I thought you were smarter than they ever come back here. <laughs> So yeah, that was a learning lesson for me. <laughs> I wanted to wrestle him. You know, this Apple Valley has a history of just great heavyweights, and I want to be a part of that tradition. Um, when I was here wrestling, a lot of guys came back and trained with me. Carl Jones is one of them, old, old time uh, heavyweight champion here. And that's just part of the deal. I feel like you got to come back. There's not too many guys that are 300 pounds that can push a guy like Gable Stevenson. So I tried to come back and do my due diligence, but uh, he was pretty good that day. While Laws was on the short end that day, he had the upper hand for virtually his entire prep career. He compiled a career wrestling record of 139 and 5 with an individual state championship and a major role in three team titles. In football, he was a two-time All-State lineman. It's amazing. I mean, you look around this room and there's not another wrestling room like this in anywhere any, in the country, as far as I'm concerned. And just the names and the history and the literal blood, sweat, and tears that have happened in this mat. It's the place where I and so many other people literally became men. And uh, it's just, you know, I think about the names and the, the records and, oh, the coaches is yelling at us up here. And my wife was actually the manager, the student manager up here, so I actually met her also. So it really is this one of the beginnings in the story of how I, how I became an athlete. Laws embraced being a multi-sport athlete. Whatever the season was, he loved that sport the most. It was always football in the fall, basketball in the winter, and baseball in the spring. As I got into high school, um, the basketball coach sat me down. He said, Trevor, you're uh, barely six foot and you're more of a horizontal athlete, so why don't you talk to this guy, Jim Jackson, and see what can happen. And so that's kind of the, the point where I turned my focus to wrestling and it really took off from there. I came up here as a freshman. I just, you know, I probably got beat up by the 112 pounder every day. And that's just how it was in here. It was ruthless and tough. And the guys were, you know, they were, they were mean and they were good and they pushed you to your limits. And I want to be a part of that. While Laws remains one of Minnesota's top wrestlers of all time, he couldn't deny his love of football. High school football is like, it's like a dream come true to be a high school varsity player to me. It's like a, you know, being in the locker room with your best friends and driving to the field, listening to your music and seeing your parents in the stands, it was a dream for me. And uh, uh, as much as wrestling changed my career, football was always still my, my biggest love. And I always wanted to be a professional football player. It was something I could barely even say out loud, but I always wanted it since I was a little kid. And uh, some of the memories of training here and getting to the field early and walking around with all our boys and just the game of football, um, it's really special, it's really special. While he had numerous opportunities to wrestle collegiately, he felt himself being tugged down the path of the gridiron. Football I always thought was my ticket, you know, to kind of make it, make it, make myself who I wanted to be. But I never could ever find the top of my football game without looking back at some of my wrestling losses. And um, some of the losses I took in wrestling have completely changed how I was an athlete going forward the rest of my life. Laws chose to play at Notre Dame. As a nose tackle, he earned All-America honors and then was taken in the second round, number 47 overall in the 2008 NFL Draft by the Philadelphia Eagles. As a rookie, he started all 16 games. Longtime Apple Valley assistant coach Brad Schaefer chuckles at the memories of working with Laws. We talk about joy runs, that's the conditioning part of our practice, but. I would laugh at how he wasn't his favorite thing to do sometimes, but we had to push him and we had to get him in shape too, uh, like every other you know, wrestler in the room. I worked out with him a little bit. Uh, I sometimes think about how I, it wasn't anybody to work out with him, so I'd have to get in there and try not to get hurt. And uh, I think he enjoyed you know, uh, putting me in a, a throw and trying to launch me for fun, because he was really good at that. He was so talented. Laws is thrilled to reflect on his high school career. Being a student athlete, it's, it's, that's one of the proudest things of my whole career because 
you know, I was a successful student athlete at Notre Dame, successful student athlete here at Apple Valley, and it's not easy. It's one of the hardest things to do to be able to train on that field and also train for that classroom. So that's, you know, looking back on my, my grades and what I was able to achieve academically at the same time as, you know, the sports arena, I'm very proud of that.